Hello. Hey, it's Michael here with ServiceNow, and I wanted to just take a minute to talk about using filters in the Platform Analytics dashboard. Now, I recently had a customer ask me about how to do filters, and not just filters in general, but also how do you have one filter be dependent on another? Meaning if you have something like incidents, for example, as you can see here, how can I have one filter to select maybe the assignment group and then a second filter that will only show me the assigned two members of the assignment group that I selected versus everybody. And so, uh, like I said before, I want to put together this brief, uh, this brief video to, to show how that works. So I'm not going to name names. I'm just going to say, Chris, I hope you're paying attention. So that being said, in my platform analytics dashboard here, you can see that I've already got a couple gauges. I'm looking at the number of incidents um, active incidents as well as incidents open by daytime. So I already have a couple components here that are showing me the visualizations. So first thing I'm going to do is add in a new filter. So with it, I'll add in my new element of my filter. I'm going to call this the assignment group. And with my element, I have to select two basic parts to this filter. The first one is to say, where is it pulling my data that's going to show me in that filter list? Well, in this case, I am going through and going to select the assignment groups. I'm going to say, great, let's use my sys user group. It's filtering it for me. There's my group table. I'm going to say apply first. I'm not sure why it does this, but when you first select the group and setting it up, the second part of this is to say, here's where I want to pull my data from. And then here is where it's going to apply. For some reason, it uses the same table to apply. That's not what I want to do. I want to go ahead and say, you know what? I want to apply this to my incident table. And the field is going to be the assignment group. I'll hit apply. I'll hit save exit my editing mode, and now if I select a group, great, I see that the filter is working. So now let me go ahead and add in a second filter and make it dependent. So going back to editing, let's add in our new filter element. Just like before, I'm going to call it uh, assign to. Now, instead of doing single, I'm going to select this as multiple. So I can select one group, but then I can select multiple users from that group. And then I'll add in my source as well. In this case, the table I'm going to select from is from my user table, which is typically sys underscore user. Now, obviously, there's a lot of tables that have sys underscore user in the name, so I'm going to have to just filter down to find my specific user table, which should be right there. And I'll hit apply first. So just like before, I'm then going to modify that data to filter. And I'm going to add in the incident table. So same thing like I did with the group, the group filter. And then the field is going to be the assigned to. And I'll apply it. I'll save it. And I'm going to exit editing and just test it out. So if I find all my people, I can probably find like maybe an ITIL user. I'll find my name, which is Michael Slobonic. I'm, I'm not going to hide that. Great. The filter is working for that. But like I said before, I want to have some dependencies here. So to set up my dependency now, I'm going to go back to editing and I'm going to edit the second filter or think of it as the child one. And I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this filters with table connection right there. I'll select the follow the assignment group. And then my connecting table is basically the table that says what is maintaining the relationship between these two tables. So think of it as like a many to many kind of thing. In this case, my group member. Group member table says here's all my users and which groups they're in. And then I'll save it. Now back to exiting the edit mode. Now when I select 
my table of service desk. If I go here, I still see everyone, but I can only select those filtered groups right here. In this case, maybe ITIL user. There we go. So I specify my filters. For each of them, I gave the source that's pulling the list. I gave the target table and field that it's supposed to apply to. And then the last step was to go ahead and trigger that follow setting and then make sure I specify which table is going to kind of have those relationships between them. So a big thing you have to keep in mind, and this is true for any kind of dependency tables in general in ServiceNow, is there still has to be that table that is maintaining that dependency relationships. If you don't have that, it's gonna be a challenge in terms of getting this to work. In this case with users and groups, we have it by default, so it's pretty easy. That's it, thank you very much, have fun.